PCR. Um, so this notion of reusing design that is open uh, is a, a really great one for Maker Faire. Uh, and Paolo, who is an assistant professor of, uh, of design at the Virginia Commonwealth University in Qatar, uh, has a really interesting perspective on how open design uh, matters in both countries with great prosperity and those with fewer resources. So uh, I want to take any more time from Paolo and we'll let him get started. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. <clears throat> so uh, I introduce you a bit in, on the topic of open design and what I'm working on. Uh, well, just to introduce myself, I am I'm Italian, I'm working for an American university, I'm living in Qatar, and I'm doing research in Cuba. So it sounds pretty weird. I'm not crazy, or not totally crazy, uh, but let me explain a bit what there is behind this stuff. So I'm assistant professor at Virginia Commonwealth University, uh, in their campus in Qatar, and I'm working with the graduate students over there. Th this is the place where I live, actually. This is Doha, so in the middle of the Middle East. Looks like a little Manhattan, a lot of skyscrapers. But this was Doha at middle of 80s. So. I mean, in 30 years, I mean, a city grew up from the desert. And this is a vision from Sid Mead about Doha, the next future. I can assure you that it's not so far, this future. It's pretty close. So they are building, they are using great names from architecture. So they are, this is the new national museum they are building, the Islamic Museum. This is from Jean Nouvel. This is from Pei. Uh, this is by Arata Izuzaki, so the, com the National Convention Center. <clears throat> this is a, an amazing place, I mean, called the Pearl, so totally artificial island on the sea, just bringing sand in the middle of the sea and building skyscrapers. But the stuff I really appreciate more, and, and I, I, I realized it was very interesting, was Al Jazeera. Um, I don't know if, if, if you know the story about Al Jazeera. I mean, at the, at the beginning of the, the 2000, they start to, I mean, they were the only broadca international broadcaster all the way to enter in the Gaza Strip. So they started to send uh, video makers and doing footage, but in spite to sell this footage exactly as all the other international broadcasters do, they put all their footage under Creative Commons license. And they start to give this footage for free. So the people started to go in their website and download the footage, and every kind of international broadcaster start to transmit their footage just to, ask, to be asked for maintaining the logo, Al Jazeera logo. So starting from that point, Al Jazeera became famous and famous. And it was clear to me that in this case, the equation was they have capitals. I mean, Al Jazeera network belongs straight to the Emir of Qatar. I mean, maybe one of the richest persons in the world. Plus, openness equal uh, celebrity. So in, other, in another way, they wanted to be famous and reach a celebrity, and they use their capitals and openness. But what happened? So this pushed me to consider, well, take a look to the other part of the world. Take a look to another environment totally different. So I went to Cuba last summer doing a workshop with the students over there where the, the factors of the equation are pretty different. But you can see, I mean, you can find on the street product, product like that. So very creative, simple, easy to make and everyone can produce it. Or a safety belt, or a portable shop, or these beautiful chairs that I'm, I mean, I'm a product designer and 
I can easily see this chair in a kind of design week all over the world. There is the rocking chair, there is the simple chair, few pieces well, well put together. So, are not made by designer, just normal people sharing projects. And what about the cars they are using and they are fixing since 50 years without any kind of original piece? So, I mean, they keep fixing that. I mean, this is creativity. And one stuff that bring me to Cuba was reading a, a news that took, tell me that uh, in 2011, the government, well, the government, the guys up there, uh, decided to uh, switch all the computers uh, into open source software. So, means that the country is ready for open source in some way, or open design. So in this case, the equation is pretty different. So there is need, so they start to be creative, and to be open. So this is quite impressive. This is the difference between the two countries, the GPA. So as you can see, I mean, they are very at the opposite of the, of the grid. So in one side, there is money, no money. Research, social awareness, strive to fame and strive to survive. And outsourcing, Qatar is outsourcing everything. I mean, they are importing everything, me as well. And on the other side, there is the embargo. So no way to have some products. So going deep into this parallel, I'll tell you what I, I did in these two totally different environments. So st I started working with the students from a very simple, basic concept. So this is the old traditional way to, to approach product design. So you have an idea, you make a patent, and this idea stuck for 20 years, between 14 and 20 years exactly the same. No one can interact with this idea. So I pushed my students, both in Qatar and in, in Cuba, to work in another level. So you have an idea, you share that idea, and after 20 years, this idea can become idea 1.1, 1.4, or idea 2, idea 3. So the potential of, the, of this sharing is amazing. So, this is how my student in Qatar describe themselves. Uh, mostly I have uh, female students. The percentage for higher education between male and female is 1 to 40. So it's impressive. So, they start working. I, I show you some projects. I'm, this is a simple flip-flop, very easy. But working over ideas and changing the ideas, this is another interpretation of the same idea. So not simple handmade project, but in this case, there is the interaction between a laser cutter and a Middle Eastern artisan. So the upper part of the, the shoes is worked by laser cut, and the other part is made by an artisan and link it together. So starting from a simple shoes, another interesting experiment. And the, the last one, you have to know that Qatari girls loves high heel shoes. I mean, they are crazy for shoes. So another experiment is that. So the sole is made by, it's 3D printed, and the upper part is a, a laser cutted leather. So very different approaches. I mean, artisan, uh, digital fabrication, handcraft. So over the same idea, the, the, the students work a lot and transform the idea in a very short time. Another example, uh, in the Middle East it's pretty difficult to take photos, so they, they don't want to be photographed, so it, it's a, an issue to take photos over there. So my students, they, they are Middle Eastern students, so they work on their own issues. So starting from a project of, an, of, of a penal camera, so a downloaded penal camera, 
they work it on this single shot. So this is a penal camera hide that in a in a, a cap. So in this case, I mean the cap is 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 made with maker boot, and and uh, and the bottom part is just folded paper. But they improve the concept of the single penal camera on their needs. Or for instance, this one. I mean, downloading just some code, processing code. They elaborated this graphic about opinions. Opinions over there are pretty important. So this, for instance, this graphic represents the opinion about a mural someone did in our school and has been censored. So this graph represents the opinion about this issue. Some other guys took this, this concept and transformed it from digital to analog to analogic. So bringing this concept within, uh, in the middle of, of the street, or the street, the school, the street is pretty hard to <laughs> reach, asking, asking the other students and the other people what they think about um, their father choose their wife and husbands. So what's pretty interesting, I mean, four colors, yes, male, yes, male, no, female, yes, female, no. And they create this piece of art. Um, and this is interesting, representing so the digital experimentation in an analogic way, representing opinion. The last project in Qatar we did, this is a clock, again, uh, hacking some process, processing code using Arduino, finding instructions online. So this is a clock that don't, don't give you information about the time, but about the temperature. So over there, the temperature reached 50 degrees or something like that. So there are some activities that you can't do during the day. So this clock just gives you information what you can do related to the temperature. So maybe the clock say you go running now, but maybe are the three in the morning, but it's the only moment that you can go running or stay in bed. So just suggesting actions relating to the to the temperature. Well, something different happened, happened in Cuba. I mean, uh, structures, resources, totally different. I don't know why the students started, I didn't ask them, with the same flip-flop project. I don't know. Maybe when you ask, do something free, freely, they start with a, a, a flip-flop. So the problem here was that the concept behind this flip-flop was to have a Velcro sole that you can remove when you enter home. So they start working, perfect. The problem in this case was no Velcro. So that's it. The, the project finished, stopped. <clears throat> Another project, very interesting. Uh, some student took this this uh, product from, I can't remember, extractables or shapeways, or I can't remember exactly. Anyway, well, they were using internet. They were very creative in using internet. I mean, the connection was terrible, deathly slow. But they were able to manage these browser windows in a way they loaded something, they reading other stuff. So really creative. So they choose this lamp. What beautiful. I like this lamp. I want to copy this lamp and I want to reproduce under a, an open design process. Perfect. I mean this material is open online. So they start this is a simple project made by pencils and made by this little piece, this little junction links, 3D printed. Well, first problem, no 3D print printers in Cuba. But they found a very interesting uh, metal plate. And with this metal plate and with uh, their laser cutter, uh, they realized, as you can see up here, the same piece, exactly the same piece, start, starting from two dimension. So another issue. Well, we need to, 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 
to test the lamp. Well, what about the bulb? Great problems with bulb over there. So the bulbs cost a lot of money. So someone said, look, I think you have to go and check in the dean's office. I think over there there is one. There was. So they went to the dean's office, they get the, the bulb back down, and perfect. I mean, almost the same lamp, but translated into the local context with local resources. Other issue in Cuba. I mean, uh, one of the biggest activity in Cuba is waiting, waiting for everything. So they said, well, we need something to sit on while we, while, while we are waiting. So they took this project that actually this project won a worldwide design competition during the uh, design week in Milan this year. They took this, this project, it's an open project, very simple project, and they did a very simple operation adding little elements and transforming this project into a portable one. Well, just adding really few elements. I mean, a couple of holes and a thread, and that's all. So again, I mean, they need to bring with themselves this tool. Let's do it. Improve the project based on their needs. I want to finish this, this talk very quick. It's going late. Um, about entertainment. I mean, all of us, we are very focused on all of this app, gaming, and everything, multimedia. So one, of, uh, one, of, one group of students pop up, popped up with this proposal, Angry, Angry Bird. So they started an analogical version of Angry Bird. They started painting the little birds, rubber band. That's it. So even better than the original one. It's not exactly an open design process. I'm pretty sure that Rovio will not allow this kind of translation. But anyway, I mean, this game is for four person. They can play together. That's all. I mean, I don't know if it's right, if it's not, if it's plagiarism, or what is it. I know this is good. So open design is something that I recognize as at the top of the mountain, and everyone really can transform and improve and change and copy depending on their, their own context and their own resources. So I started uh, what, uh, what there is in, in the opposite of this system. What, what is in the middle is exactly what what is here, around, OK? I don't know where, where we'll go and how, how far we will go. But anyway, I'm pretty sure that these two are the two extremes of, <laughs> of the game. So thank you. I, I, I posted a, an hashtag from Qatar to Cuba. I tweeted it. If you want to leave a comment, we'll be part of my research. So thank you. I finished.